Hello again. Uh, this video, let's uh, continue to next chapter, chapter 10, the, the SWRL and SQWRL. I, I will pronounce this as the SWORG. Uh, uh, during the last uh, video, uh, I got the comments from uh, one. Uh, the input is uh, that my audio is uh, not good enough, uh, so I try to uh, make the background uh, more quiet and also put my closer to myself closer to the speaker so i hope his uh, the audio quality is uh, good uh, if we still uh, have uh, uh, the issues uh, uh, thanks for your comments just uh, let me know uh, and uh, actually in the sparkle query video uh, i uh, we use uh, the this Work around use the snap sparkle because uh, the sparkle query uh, window by default has uh, some uh, bug uh, still not fixed. So uh, the result has uh, some difference compared to the tutorial. Uh, those things, uh, my plan is uh, after this uh, tutorial, so video series, uh, I will uh, try to analyze uh, sparkle in more specific way. So during those days, I hope uh, we can get some more distinguish and uh, analysis on the Sparkle uh, query specifically. So uh, for this today, so we are going to uh, move on to the next video with one uh, uh, exercise about uh, first uh, small rule. Uh, you can read through this uh, uh, paragraph uh, to understand the three type of the expression for the SWRL uh, and also how to enable the uh, the, uh, the SWOR in the ontology. But we will try uh, together with this uh, exercise uh, to write down our first rule. So the first rule in this chapter mentioned is, uh, uh, is the company want to give uh, any customer who purchase uh, more than one pizza with our discount. Second rule is so we will give a uh, customer who buy the hot uh, pizza, hot spicy pizza with small discount. So those are the two rules. Uh, and let's uh, begin with this exercise 34. First, in my prodigy, uh, I open this tutorial ontology with data. So don't use this on your own. Uh, the ontology. So you can see here uh, when you open the file, the back coming is uh, empty here, and we have to use the snap sparkle. Uh, but that's the uh, chapter nice uh, already discussed. To begin with, uh, this swar uh, exercise, uh, we need to uh, navigate or create a swar tab. I already closed that, uh, but you can uh, open this uh, by using tab. You can see the second, a third from last is a super type. And we will also later on use this uh, SQ uh, word tab uh, in the uh, two exercises ahead. So let's uh, put in this. So, and then it's uh, appeared, uh, has uh, two uh, parts. Uh, so as uh, recommended by uh, Michael is uh, let's uh, ignore this uh, DROLS uh, rules. Uh, but if you have an uh, interest, in, you can uh, go to uh, their website. Uh, DROLS is our business rule management system solution. So you can uh, get some more understanding for that. Uh, but we focus on the SWOR now. So SWOR is our web, semantic web rule language. Uh, you can also read this uh, most spec uh, detailed specification from W3.org. Uh, let's uh, move to, uh, we already have enabled that. If not, you can install that from the plugin. Uh, but let's uh, go to uh, the step three, click on new. And as mentioned, is uh, because we have nothing uh, uh, appeared here. so. All the rest of the button is uh, gray out, so that's uh, expected. Let's create new. Then you get our edit, a rule editing dialog. Uh, give you this uh, pop up in the name. Let's call this uh, hold discount rule. 
by the way, as I tried to do this also the first time together with you, so if there's any uh, abnormal things or strange things happened, uh, it, it can, uh, can be. So uh, let's uh, do this uh, all together. You can skip the comments, uh, but uh, let's add that this uh, my first small rule. But if you want, you can comment. Uh, so and provide our specific, maybe that, that is uh, better to be at here. Now go to the button um, part for the rule and start writing the rule, go bottom. To start, you want to bind a parameter to each instance of the customer class. To do this, you need to do this to write customer with uh, a parenthesis question mark. You can see here, it's always uh, checking your status. So if you put in just a customer, expecting parenthesis uh, in close arguments, so I gave our parenthesis uh, pair, then this side is expect a variable, uh, then I gave our C, but that side is an invalid individual because we need to use uh, question mark C uh, for this variable. So this uh, status is uh, very uh, useful through these uh, hints. Invalid swore predict until you complete that. So we done the uh, quest, uh, step four. Now you can you want to bind the parameter of the number of pizzas that each customer has ordered so far. To do this, you first add our this character. This stands for logical and. So we have a customer and we need our and. Uh, the rule will fire for every side of the binding that satisfy all of the expression in the antecedent. To test the number of pizza you use the data property number of pizza purchased. So that point you rule should look like is uh, we need to end this. Uh, let's go this uh, number. This pizzas. Let's use the Trust with a question mark customer question mark number of pizza. So now you see status back to OK. Now we want to test the object pro property has a specific preference. The first parameter will also be question mark C. You can see here we will add we are iterating, so let's uh, keep adding one more uh, the condition. Each customer binding with a uh, customer can test the value of these properties. In this case, rather than binding the specimen's preference to a parameter, we just want to test if it's equal to the instance of the specimen's uh, heart. So we directly reference that instance in the expression rules has specific preference hot. So that's the property, uh, object property has. Actually, I try to use a control space. There is no auto complete. Tab is no, but here, yeah, there is uh, no auto complete uh, available here. So you need to type the complete strings. Yeah, we add the third condition as the last part of the antecedent, we want to test that the customer has purchased more than one pizza. We can use the swarm mass 
built in. Remember the third type of the sword, uh, the rules is the built in. So then this uh, we add another one. Another one is the SWRLB greater than one. That is the last part of the antecedent. So we write. So now so we have a six, a four, and for parts of the left. And then this we use this one to come to the results. Finally, we write the consequence of the rule, the part after the arrow that signify signify what to do each time the rule succeeds. So if this succeeds, we will give discount. So that is the consequence. And we want to give those customer 20 discount. 20% discount, so that means it's a uh, highest discount for all those uh, in scope customer is 20% uh, is uh, 0.2. Where is the expression? Now it's still okay. On the left hand side, I tested to see if the rule should fire. The expression on the right is an assertion of a new rule value to be added to the ontology. For those with a logical, a logic background, the simple way to think of this is that uh, antecedent is uh, implicitly, universally quantified, where the consequence is uh, implicitly existential qualified. So that is the two type of those uh, the logic concept. The whole rule is now, let's uh, double check. First is the customer, second is the numbers of pizza purchased, and then highest the spicy needs uh, preference with uh, built in. Uh, the check is uh, more than one. And then highest consequence is the uh, highest discount 0 0.2. That lies. Uh, Bottom is only possible to select when the rule has a valid because if uh, we see here, we see CD, for example, then you cannot click OK. So you must uh, first is ensure status is OK. Selectable now, let's, uh, you should see the new rule show up at the top. Yeah, that is our rule. Note that this is a minor bug in this wall where sometimes the prefix for the current ontology will be added to all the expression. Yeah, that is the case. Uh, microcode is also a minor bug. Uh, so, so I sometimes you, uh, I'm seeing like uh, Michael mentioned here is so uh, I have a pizza prefix uh, added before all of uh, the expression. So if I double click this, now you can see. So the pizza, uh, the column is added for all of them. So it's not to uh, impact the function. So, but we got some arrow. So this arrow is still this uh, Sparkle query tab arrow. Uh, so let's try to do start the reasoner. Let's see from our entity. Pizza. Pizza spiciness is inferred. We need to uh, double check is uh, how this uh, will be uh, viewed uh, in the later uh, video. So this video is uh, if you come to this uh, uh, step nine with the expected this uh, rule, then that's uh, uh, it's good. It's uh, less 
uh, move to the next uh, exercise and we learn together from how uh, the result will be reflected in your ontology. Uh, thank you for watching for this one. Uh, I am uh, keep work, uh, learning together with you in next exercise. Bye for now.